Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I add a few fall touches to my kitchen space. And so I'm going to decorate three or four spaces in the kitchen by just adding in some fall decor with my um, everyday decor that's already here. So some of the items that you guys see will be staying and some will be going and switched out for fall. And in this video, guys, I'm going to let you just kind of watch along with me. I won't talk too much. So if you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to respond. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy and I'll check back in throughout the video. So here are some of the items that I'll be using for this area. I picked up these little pomegranate picks from the Dollar Tree. I've had these in my stash, so um, I already have those. I have this little basket that I showed you guys um, that I got previously over the summer, and I filled it with some little tangerines. That's one of my son's favorite snacks. I have these candlesticks there with the little white candles on it. I also um, have these florals here that I showed you guys during one of my recent home decor hauls, so I will be using those. I have some candy corn. It's not fall without candy corn, right? <laughs> and a pumpkin from Hobby Lobby, and this little kitchen towel from the Dollar Tree. And in the background here, I have my cloche with, filled with some of Addison's favorite treats also. Those are little pastries that I got from Aldi. So now let's go ahead and decorate this area of the kitchen.
And here's the final look on this half of the kitchen. And I really like how everything came together. I basically used many of the items that was already here and just added in some few seasonal touches, especially in the greenery there. And our favorite little snacks over here. Usually for Thanksgiving or Christmas holiday or any type of holiday season, I will add um, on this half of the kitchen is usually like our dessert bar or dessert area. So that's why those snacks are there. Um, and I still have my blessed sign. You guys know I've had that for a few years now. I did purchase that from Kirkland's. I usually get lots of questions about where that came from. And then over here in this section, I just added in some little tangerines along with those faux apples. I think they look really pretty together. And I think this area is complete. It's ready for if I want to set up a buffet style dessert bar, or this is a nice everyday look for the fall season. I'm really happy with all of the um, splashes of orange. It makes it look very vibrant and festive. Now moving on to the next area, over here is where I did have my summer coffee beverage bar station set up for the coffee beverage bar collab that I co-host with Kimberly Davis. Here's a picture of that space. This year I decided to move it over so uh, if you want to see what I did with my coffee beverage bar for the fall, be sure to click back on tomorrow because I will have that video available for you guys to see. Yes, the fall coffee beverage bar collaboration um, will be going live tomorrow morning at 8 a.m eastern standard time so make sure your notification bells are clicked so now that means this space is available for me to decorate so i'm going to just add in a few fall touches um, and keep this space fairly simple but really pretty And here's the final look for this area. Again, very simple, but I think it makes a really nice statement. Um, I just absolutely love pictures, and I think these are my three favorite. So yes, that's this area. Now we're moving on to the area above the refrigerator. So I am going to show you guys, I'm just gonna add a few items here. Again, just to kind of bring the color throughout the kitchen. So I think this is about it for um, top of the refrigerator. I'm not going to add too much decor, but I love, love, love um, these pottery vases. I think they're gorgeous, especially with the greenery on top. It really adds a nice um, color to the top of the refrigerator. And then I did decide to add a little bit of fall florals just to finish off the look. And here's the final space that we'll be decorating. This is a little nook area just off the kitchen. And so as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and clean off the credenza that we have there and add just a few fall touches to bring a little life to this fairly dark space otherwise. And here's a final look at this little nook space. 
I think that these uh, florals really gave life to this area. I love the vibrant colors and this space really could use it because it was really fairly plain otherwise. So yes, I absolutely love it. And I just used one of those little velvet um, pumpkins from Dollar Tree last year to finish off the look. These are swags, and if you guys follow me, you saw them used in my dining room decor. I had them hanging on the wall in my dining room. I decided to take them down because I thought they would look really pretty over here, and I'm really happy that I did. I think um, they're better use over here in this space. So I will be doing an updated fall, autumn, um, tablescape look, so be sure to uh, check back on the channel to see that. Uh, that will be coming very soon. Okay guys, so here's a final look of each space that we have decorated for the fall in my kitchen area. So I wanna just give you guys a last look at each area and see how it all came together. But I will not do a full fall kitchen tour until after I have shown you guys my coffee and beverage bar which is coming up in a collaboration being hosted tomorrow by Kimberly Davis of A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis and co-hosted by myself. So be sure that your notification bells are clicked and that you are subscribed to both of our channels because I promise you do not want to miss our videos or the playlist of all of the participants. So that's coming up tomorrow. Be sure to check back on the channel. So after that video then i will do a fall kitchen tour showing you the entire space um, i think that you guys will be very pleased and will be able to get lots of ideas and inspiration from my final kitchen look so i hope you all have enjoyed this video if so please be sure to click the thumbs up button you know that helps me out tremendously and if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell to receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. For my faithful family members, you guys know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And I truly appreciate all of your support. Again, be sure to stop back by tomorrow for the next video and I will see you all then. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.